very special people to me. They're wonderful. My, two of my favorite performers, Miss Bernadette Peters and Mr. Tim Conway. Show me how you did it. <laughs> What's your name? Cindy Moore. You're Cindy. Did you have a whole line of dialogue? Yeah, we, we did the hospital nudge scene. You did the hospital yeah. nudge? Okay. Oh. Go, Cindy. Oh. It's right. <laughs> terrific things I've ever seen, and boy, she's got my vote for the Emmy, I'll tell you. And yeah, I just wanted to plug that in. just answered her girlfriend's phone call. As I was saying, how was your weekend, dear? Oh, no. A confrontation with another woman? An alcoholic binge? A trial separation? And uh, your maid quit? Oh, well, it was nice talking to you, Maud. <laughs> Life's not easy when you're in the top ten. <laughs> reminiscing through my photo album. Oh. oh, here's a strange picture. Why, no. No, it's not a picture. Huh. It's an x-ray of my broken heart. <laughs> Taken when I found out the truth about my second husband, Sylvia. <laughs> oh, there we are. Oh, here are various pictures of me at some of the funerals <laughs> of my ex-husbands. <laughs> today. That's strange. How can I have a niece when I have no brothers or sisters? <laughs> oh, well, what matter does it make? What matter does it make? What does it matter? She's such a sweet. <laughs> She's such a sweet, innocent little girl who will never give me a moment of worry. <laughs> I'll get it. Much too young to be your grandmother.
what a collector's item. I know, I'll just put them away with my other comedy albums. <laughs> are your wonder years. At Marion, yes. I predict that you are about to have a severe bursitis attack. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I mean, I couldn't have that. I'm only 28 years old. <laughs> Was it a prediction or did God get me for lying? <laughs> Since this doggone movie has caught on real good down there at the local theater, I've decided to become a freelance exorcist. Oh, you're an exorcist? That's right. Well, who, who have you ever gotten rid of? Well, um, there was this little girl in Chicago, as I recall, as she lived on the east side there, and, uh, or was it the west side? I'm not sure I took a cab it was night. I couldn't yes. see too clear. But I uh, went over to her very house there, and yes. she had uh, heard a lot of rapping and tapping. Yes, uh -huh. Mostly tapping. Mm -hmm. Very little rapping, yes. but once in a while a rap. Most of it was your tap. Get your basic tap. Uh -huh. And, uh, I so she had definitely been, though, been possessed. She's been, possessed. She's been, she was? By whom? By the June Taylor dancers. <laughs> But I got rid of those fellas, right? Then you are an exorcist. Well, I... Otto, Otto, I do hope you can help me with my visiting niece. <laughs> well, she seems pretty normal to me. What's the problem? Oh, please, please, can't you do something? Well, if I'm going to do anything, I'll need my book for this one. Your this book? looks like big stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> 
look at this here. Uh, oh, those are personal notes. Oh, exercise, 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 yes, excavation, uh, excavation, um, excitement, uh, ex-wife. Uh, you know, something come to think of it, there was no excitement with my ex-wife. <laughs> through goodness and purity. Yeah, yeah. I know those words seem a little jumbled and jivey, but here's the door. Get along with it, old lady right, okay. exorcist. Okay, well, if you'll help me with this, Marianne. Yes, what do you want me to do? Hold her. I'm going to have to show her the symbols of goodness. Hopefully we'll get that old evil out of her right away. All right? You ready? Here's the first symbol of goodness. An eight by ten of Doris Day drinking a glass of milk. Some of these are going to be pretty rough. You better take them. Christmas tree of the King family. <laughs> Get that final one in. You got it. <laughs> a set of Shirley Temple glasses used by the Johnny Man singer <laughs> during a tribute to America the Beautiful. When the guest star, get this, the guest star was Kate Smith. <laughs> It was hard to do, Marion, yes, but it was, was the only way we could do it. <laughs> uh, I think she's perfectly cured now. Hello, Aunt Marion. Oh, what are we doing on the couch? You're all ripped up. Oh, right. Yes, Marion, she'll never be abnormal again. We've taken all that evil away from her now, and she has nothing but goodness and purity left within her very heart and her soul and a little bit of her knee. <laughs> So, Marion, take you a long time. Wait, before you go, there are still a lot of questions left unanswered. What are the unanswered questions? And what of Marion's future? Will the disastrous visit from her niece change her? Or from now on, will she never again have relations in the house? <laughs> And what of Marion's niece, Raven? Is she really cured? Or will she return to Washington, where strange behavior is taken for granted? <laughs> and what of Otto Black Flag, the freelance exorcist? Is he really that powerful? Yes, he can get the devil out of a little girl. But can he chew crackers and whistle Yankee Doodle at the same time? <laughs> and what of handsome Lyle Wagoner? Why was he exorcised from this sketch? <laughs> the answer to these and other painful questions tune in tomorrow as the stomach turns ladies and gentlemen the very wonderful miss bernadette peters
Some of you have friends who are honest, realistic, and always ready to advise you and set you straight. If you do have friends like this, lots of luck. Well, I have kept up with my singing. Aw, still chasing that rainbow, huh? Well, 
I uh, did make a record, Tammy. Oh, honey, no, not one of those outfits where you pay them. Don't you know any better? They're racket. What? No, it's on Capitol Records. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course, only one in a million ever sells. Oh, well, mine sold quite a few. Maybe you heard it, Glitter Girl? The Glitter Girl? <laughs> did you like it? It was effective. Oh, of course, thank you. one record doesn't mean a thing. I mean, you're dead if you don't cut an album. Well, I'm cutting an album tomorrow. Of course, one album doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> I mean, you haven't got a prayer, darling, unless you pull a Streisand, you know, do stage movies. Well, I, I am opening in a new musical next week. Oh, you poor sap. Sap? Sap. Darling, don't tell me you've been roped into one of those creepy little theater groups at the end of some alley. Oh, no, I'm the lead in the new musical that's opening at the music pavilion. <laughs> Center? Yeah, they're going to premiere it here before they take it to Broadway. Oh, kiss of death! <laughs> Say bye-bye, darling. Kiss of death? <laughs> Don't you know the only reason they open it here is because the turkey isn't good enough for New York. Gosh, we all thought it was so funny. You see, it's about this couple that live in a Manhattan high rise. Oh, Lord, don't tell me. Not the technology has got us by the throat. And what am I going to do with my life bit? No, sort of. Oh, honey, don't you know that only Neil Simon can write that kind of junk? Well, this is by Neil Simon. <laughs> when will Neil Simon quit writing that kind of junk? I hate to be seen in a flop. Oh, honey, don't worry about it. Nobody goes to plays anymore. I mean, it's the movies. That's where it's at. Well, this has already been sold to the movies. Oh, and? You're my everything underneath the sun. You're my everything rolled up into one.
effort to do our part to keep America's air clean for our children's future. I'm so glad we had this time together just to have a laugh or sing a song. Seems we just get started and we'll